parliament for the NBC, our own incoming member of parliament, Catherine Afeku, the clergy, chief imams, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great delight and pleasure that I join the good people of Axim and its environs today to celebrate the Kundum Festival. Kundum is such a wonderful time to reconnect with our cultural heritage, honor the ancestors and reflect on what our heritage has done for us. For us in the new patriotic party, when we come to Axim, we are fully aware that one of our ancestors, our grant, has his tomb right here in Axim. I recall with nostalgia in 2018, when I joined your neighbors at Insien to celebrate the Kundum Festival. It was a wonderful experience, and that is the reason why I gladly accepted the invitation to join you and to and the people of Axim to celebrate 2024 Kundum today. So today, I suspended all my campaign activities to be here. Awolaimo, I am informed that the entire Western region, in the entire Western region, with the little Ajmoro Jira, is the only constituency blessed with five paramounts. This occasion gives me the opportunity to assure Awolaimo that I look forward to engaging all five paramount chiefs in Upper Axim, Lower Axim, Ajamoro, in Sien and Gira, traditional areas in the coming months. I have had the privilege of meeting the Gira Omaihini, the insane Omaihini, and today the Lower Dixon, Lower Axim Omaihini, and Upper Axim Acton President. So I have to engage the Ajamoro traditional area and the upper axiom as well to receive the great blessings and wise counsel for the journey ahead to lead our nation with bold solutions. Nanalum, we have placed a lot of store on the education of our children. We believe education holds the key to the future of Ghana and the future of our communities. And it is for that reason that when we campaigned for office in 2016, a time when even chalk in school was a problem, when we campaigned, we promised free senior high school education. <laughs> There were many people who thought it was not possible, but we said it is possible. And we have implemented free senior high school education in the last eight years. Our parents have not had to pay school fees, and school enrollment has increased from 800,000 in 2016 to 1.4 million in 2023. Not only have we brought free senior high school education, we have brought free technical and vocational education as well. And not only that, we have restored the teacher training allowances that were cancelled and we have restored the nursing training allowances that were cancelled. Now, as we are all aware of the upcoming elections 
in December. I entreat Naranom and the people of Edele, Edgebaragura to support a peaceful election. An election based on ideas and policies and a mindset of possibilities for the people of Ghana. If Alue is totally blessed, the president was here in Izima last month to cut the soil for the petroleum hub, which is poised to create over 700,000 jobs once on stream. Naturally, local content will play a very critical role, and I urge the youth in the evaluate your area, Exim and its environs to guard this project with all their heart and minds to see to its completion with the NPP government. Job creation and a prosperous Inzima is all we want for Nananum and the good people of Inzima. I would like more. My Vice Presidential Candidate, Dr. Matthew Koko Grandpa, was also here a couple of weeks ago, and Nanamum requested a VVIP war at the Axim Government Hospital. I will ensure we work in collaboration with the CEO of Ghana Gas, who we have spoken to, Dr. Ben Asante, to expedite this request for our LIMO to elevate the quality of health care at the Exim Government Hospital. Our LIMO, our government over the last seven years has built a very solid relationship with the people of Avalu Ejiromoro Dura constituency. And with your kind permission, I would like to enumerate some of their achievements in the last seven years under the leadership of President Nana Adudankwa Akufuadu. We have not left Axim and its environments, environs in the left out Axim and its environs in the distribution of infrastructural development. Out of 10 stadia to develop the talents of our young men and women in sports. Axim got the stadium for the entire Western region. The sea erosion that was causing havoc and literally destroying the livelihood of our dear fisher folks was solved with a state-of-the-art defense to stall the erosion and destruction of property and lives. The entire Inzima enclave can now save time and money by visiting the DVLA Aisakro near Axim, at Aisakro near Axim, to renew their road with worthy and driver's licenses. This was constructed, as you know, by our government. This very ground that we are celebrating the Kundum Festival called Axim Victoria Park was muddy and dusty the last time I was in Axim. But now it is with paved blocks and with a soon to be completed VVIP ceremonial building for Nananon to relax during functions. Again, this is built by our government. Axim town roads were given a befitting facelift asphalted and is now motorable. A new NHIA municipal complex is under construction and it is at an appreciable level of work soon to be completed. A digital pre-mix fuel station is complete and is in use at Apusica and the rest of the seven landing beaches here in Axim will be fitted soon with digital pumping stations or, or very through our, our, the efforts of our government. A mini fishing harbor in Axim, which is right behind us, is 85% complete 
and will soon be completed and commissioned. A 2,400 per hour capacity gas bottling plant is under construction and work is ongoing right here in Brawiri in that city. I was here in November 2020 to cut the sword with Nananum at this very ground. The jobs to be created through this project is huge and it will employ thousands of young men and women from this town and its environment. This mega project is being constructed by our government. A completed ECG customer service and district building office is also here at Exim to curtail time spent to go to the CMI in the Elebele district for ECG issues. The MPP government has also constructed state-of-the-art dormitories at Exim Girls and Insean Senior Secondary Schools. These and many more are testaments of how far the MPP government has solidified its good relations with Nananum in Exim and its environments. We are very hopeful that the good people of Evelio Jumaragira will give me the opportunity to lead and I believe Nananom will also give me the chance to execute bold solutions for more development in this constituency and beyond. Nananom, I'm happy to announce the work on the 1.2 kilometer road remaining of the Axim Township Road, the Brewery to Ancobra Road, will be commenced and completed by Mrs. Jasmo Construction Limited. Also, the one kilometer remaining works on the sea defense at Lower Axim will be completed to avert the capsulizing of canoes and loss of life. Nananum, the Game Changer District Road Improvement Project, the DRIP Initiative, which I initiated, which is a well thought out initiative of mine, is here to transform the unmotorable roads in the entire Jura area. The MCE, Honorable Eric Essien, is doing a great job by ensuring equity in development through the upgrading of the Jura roads. Very soon, God willing, all general rules will be very motorable and the perennial issues of, to enable the commissioning of the Axim Youth Resource Center, popularly known as the Axim Sports Stadium. That is why you see with me here today with other um, dignitaries who will be involved in the commissioning. The stadium, once opened, will also attract big matches here and it will bring sports enthusiasts and businesses to Axim. Please do take good care of the stadium with a decent maintenance culture so that it will last. Our LIMO, all these are testaments to the commitment of the government to the development of the value of Ajumoro Jura. I am confident that the good people of Evaluate Ajumora Jura will remember these massive developmental achievements gifted by the MPP government to Axim and its environs in the last seven years and vote massively for our own parliamentary candidate, your own daughter, Catherine Afeku, to return to parliament to bring you more de development. You can testify to all the massive projects here in this constituency through her lobbying skills. And she's a very good lobbyist for the constituency. I also want to thank you for giving our government the first female chief director at the Ministry of Finance, your own daughter, Madam Eva Menz. I will lie more, you are very lucky to have these two hard-working daughters from Axim. Please support them and encourage them so together 
they will bring you more projects by voting for us. In conclusion, I wish Awolaimo and the good people of this constituency a very happy Kundu. May God bless us all and may God bless our homeland, Ghana. Azir Medasi. Medabasi. Azir Medabasi. Hello. All right, His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana and the flag bearer of the NPP. And also in the company of Honorable Catherine Afeku, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we will be moving on to the next item. But once again, we'd like to say a big thank you to our partners and sponsors we are grateful for all the support you've given us so far the media we are very very grateful as well sure